Poet by Ryan Bingham is going to be played in an alternate tuning. I will show you, though, a way to play this in standard tuning if you don't want to detune your guitar. So the album version is being played a full step down. Your sixth string, which is typically at an E, should get detuned to a D. Your five string, which is typically at an A, should get detuned to a G. Is that what that is? Yeah, G. Your fourth string, which is typically at a D, should get detuned to a C. Your three string, typically at a G, needs to go down to an F. Your five string, typically at a B, should go down to an A. Your one string, usually at an E, should go down to a D. So that whenever we strum an E chord, we're actually playing a D chord is what we're playing. Now, uh, I said I'd uh, explain how to play this in standard tuning if you don't want to detune. A lot of times Ryan Bingham just plays this on a standard tuned guitar with the same shapes out of E, and it's just in the key of E instead of in the real key of D, which is where I am right here, even though I'm playing in E shape. Uh, this is the way the album version is played, though. He's playing on a detuned guitar, playing these same shapes, I would imagine. So, all that said, if you don't want to detune, just play these shapes like I'm showing you on a standard tuned guitar, and it will sound like a lot of Ryan Bingham's live versions. You will be at a higher pitch than what my guitar is here, though. This whole song is anchored around the finger pick pattern, so let me go ahead and explain how to do that. That, to me, is the most difficult part of this song. It's going to be a two... Six, one, two, six, one, two, six, two, six, one, two, six, one, two. And it comes together like this. My fingers I'm using, I'm using my one finger on the two string the whole time, my thumb on the six string the whole time, and my second finger on the one string the whole time. So it's first, thumb, second, first, thumb, second, first. So if you listen, the thumb is just keeping those straight notes, and your first and second are the ones that are subdividing in two. All right, so that's definitely something to practice just right out of the gate is that picking pattern. Your first chord is going to be an E shape. You've got an open sixth string, your second finger on the five string two fret, your ring finger on the four string two fret, your first finger on the three string one fret, open two, open one string. So the first note is that open two string, like I said. And I'm not going to address the picking pattern again because it just keeps rolling along with that basically the whole time. So you're going to roll on that you're going to roll on that E, and then the first move you hear is going to be uh, while hitting the open two string, you hammer with your pinky finger down to the two string two fret. And this is the change that happens in the intro. It's also the change that happens all throughout the verse. Basically, you're either rolling on the E or you're rolling on this E shape that has the pinky down on the two string one fret. I'm sorry, the two string two fret. So this is the E hammer. Then pick back up your pinky finger. And hear how like all of these changes are landing on this B string like it's the downbeat, which it doesn't feel like the downbeat, but that's what is dragging the song along. So 
that's the next thing to kind of figure out the feel of is how and when to hammer that pinky finger and when to pick it back up. Now in the verses, usually that pinky finger stays down for a long roll of notes. Repeat. And then back to the E. So it just rolls back and forth between the E and this shape. And then whenever we get to the next change, we're moving out of this E shape with our second finger to the five string two fret. I'm sorry, moving out of the E shape with our second finger to the six string two fret. And then we're keeping the same kind of rolling picking pattern. And then we go to an A chord, which would be now you're plucking your five string on the open five string. Your first and second fingers are keeping the same rolling pattern, but you're just moving your thumb from tacking on the sixth string to now you're doing it on the open five string to make this A chord. Now in live versions, it looks like Ryan Bingham moves to maybe bar with his first finger to make the A chord, barring across the second fret of strings four, three, and two, and leaving, maybe leaving the one string open and doing it that way. On the recorded version to me, it sounds like I still hear this open two string ringing through the whole thing. So what I would do is out of your E shape, you're lifting your second, or you're just picking your second finger up off of where it was on the six string two fret. You're opening that five string, leave your ring finger where it is and put your pinky finger down behind or in front of where your first finger was on the uh, three string two, uh, one fret and put your pinky finger down on this three string two fret. So you've got and this just keep the rolling pattern going there. And then it goes back to the E. Sometimes in live versions in this E you can hear uh, Ryan Bingham pick up the first finger off of the three string one fret and hammer it back down. So you hear that open three string and a hammer back to the three string one fret like. So, um, it just, it continues on in that fashion. The whole song, the hardest part for me is the finger pick pattern. I would practice just mute your strings and just practice that finger pick pattern until you get it, uh, the rhythm of it, and then play along with the album recording of the song. Or if you don't want to detune your guitar, um, just play those shapes in standard, uh, standard tuning E shapes and play along with one of the live versions of Ryan Bingham playing the song. So those are the chords and the movements to how to play The Poet by Ryan Bingham. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to approach the song.